The idea of crowd farming was to ask everyone who came to TEDx Sydney to grow the food that we would eat on the day. My God, 2,200 people. What is involved is, is a massive operation. On Saturday, I'll probably be day of my career, actually. To the best of my knowledge, no one's ever attempted anything on this scale before. No one's been stupid enough to attempt anything of this magnitude before. The whole idea of the crowd farming came from that initiative by Grow It Local. Well, Grow It Local is all about encouraging backyard, balcony, community and windowsill farmers. It doesn't matter where you live, how much space you have. You can register your patch, your garden. Even if you have five tomatoes or, you know, 20 chilies. Lettuce, purple basil, one by one. Marjoram. The backyarders, the balconies, they were the first. This is our house in Earlwood. We're in Redfern. I'm in Leichhardt. 13th floor of an apartment block in Potts Point. And we're bringing our nasturtiums to TEDx Sydney. The fun part was then talking to Aria Catering. The chefs are not going to know what they're getting until like, Thursday, the Thursday, Friday. That's where it gets a bit interesting. Pressure is on, I know that. How are you feeling? Anxiety. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> We're in Neutral Bay. The neighbours don't know that I have beehives, no. 150,000 worker bees creating the honey that you're eating today. And they don't even have to be paid. As it grew, we started wondering, well, what about meat? You know, we don't have cows in backyards. What about milk and bread? But it just happened organically that people got in touch with us and said, what do you want? An arm, a leg, a pig, anything. TEDx, do you want to get involved? We're there. First time ever to put a mill inside the Opera House. We're going to be milling, we're going to be shaping the bread, we're going to be baking it, and you're going to be eating it. We're supplying the butter for the day. Made that morning, churned that morning, handmade. The cream is local, full flavour. They're going to experience something quite incredible. All the milk that's in your coffees, straight from the care. The beef lovingly raised and taken care of. So it's about using the whole animal. Absolutely. Yeah. All grass fed, all naturally grown. We'll dry age this just in time for Ted. Because Ted's coming for dinner. Ted's coming for, <laughs> Ted's coming for dinner on the 4th of May. Well, we're the only people in Australia who do organic wagyu, sympathetic to the environment, with considerations of the welfare of the animal. And with all this great food, you'll need something to wash it down. The Australian pale ale is what we've aimed for. This is it, the TEDx fresh hop ale. All the hop flavour is from locally grown hops. We're in Oatley and I grow hops in my backyard. Swapped it for some beer, which was, uh, which was great. A little bit of Sydney, a very nice beer. Well, here we are a week out from the event and we're just gathering our honey from the hives that have been in the Royal Botanic Gardens. We're supplying hopefully about 20 kilos of honey. Completely unprocessed, it'll just be spray out of the frames and the honey tastes amazing. We're heading off to the Muscat's family farm. We're getting rhubarb from there, and that's what we're using to make the rhubarb jam. We're here tonight at the Jammin' and Jammin' workshop. Jam it, pickle it, and chutney it. Give it to people to eat at TEDx. That's what it's about. Oh, sleepy, sleepy. So we're like seven sleeps till TEDx. It's, an, it's a slightly awkward tension between um, Simon and myself, every week he's kind of like, so do you know what we're getting? It's been a hard one, this has, so I'm not going to deny. It's been a logistical... It's not a catastrophe, it's a mystery. It's fine. Today I got on a train at 6 o'clock this morning to bring a 25 kilo suitcase of rainbow carrots, Nicola potatoes and 5k of Ruby Lou potatoes. We hand farm, uh, we're not mechanical. We're three days out now, and you know, we're just getting things coming and coming, you know, e every hour now. Potatoes. People should always look to eat local when they can. More and more people, all the time, are questioning where their food comes from. Better have our stuff there. It's about the people and the growers, um, and ultimately they're the heroes of the whole thing. I put my produce. Wow, rhubarb jam, it doesn't get any better than that. It, it, it's a sense of community. You know, all of this. Some lemon verbena. Sage. It's a Saturday. So this is going to be pretty radical. Like, this is, I think people are going to lose it 
just quietly, get so excited that, you know, they, they may not go back into the talks. They may just sit out there and stuff themselves with bread all afternoon. And that's okay. <laughs>